Attention all Guild Wars fans. Get ready for breaking news straight from the world of Tyria. Guild Wars 3 has officially been confirmed to be in development, but what does this mean for the franchise's future? Stick around as we unravel exclusive insights into Guild Wars 3 and reveal what to expect and when. In recent discussions at NCSoft shareholders meeting, the topic of Guild Wars 3 surfaced, suggesting that the game is indeed in development. However, ArenaNet, the studio behind the Guild Wars franchise, has been somewhat reticent regarding this matter. When approached for comment by MMORPG.com, a renowned MMORPG site, ArenaNet stated that while they are constantly exploring potential future projects, including the possibility of a new title like Guild Wars 3, they have nothing concrete to confirm at the moment. Their primary focus remains on the ongoing development of Guild Wars 2, particularly with regards to the forthcoming expansion, which they are eager to unveil soon. This revelation comes amidst ongoing challenges faced by NCSoft, reflected in fluctuating stock prices. According to a report by Korean financial outlet Money Today, Guild Wars 3's development was acknowledged during Soft shareholders' meeting, indicating a strategic move by the company in response to its current performance struggles. However, it's apparent that ArenaNet's immediate priorities lie with Guild Wars 2 content, including the upcoming expansion, as emphasized by their recent statement. Given these circumstances, it appears that Guild Wars 3's release is still several years away, with much uncertainty surrounding Xsoft's stability and future direction. Acting Chairman Park Byung-moo attributes the company's stock price decline to the volatile global gaming market and pledges to restore trust through performance-driven initiatives. The report also sheds light on a tense Q&A session, where CEO Kim Taek-jin faces scrutiny over the company's profitability and decision to cease reporting game-specific sales figures. Despite Nxoft's efforts to reassure shareholders, the confirmation of Guild Wars 3 feels somewhat obligatory, possibly aimed at placating investor concerns. Additionally, NCSoft is actively involved in other projects, such as the collaboration with Sony on Project Skyline, set within the horizon. Zero Dawn Universe, and the upcoming Western test for Throne and Liberty, which could potentially impact the company's trajectory. While the MTTN article suggests both active and exploratory phases of development for Guild Wars 3, fans eagerly await updates from ArenaNet regarding their plans for the franchise's future. With Guild Wars 2 experiencing a resurgence in popularity, fueled by the recent end of Dragon's expansion, there's anticipation for what lies ahead especially if it hints at a transition towards Guild Wars 3. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section. Also, consider subscribing to get updates about this and other gaming goodness. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Until next time.